right. We should be in the building with Zach Shaheed, broadcasting live from Shaheedville, the right. great city of Columbus, Georgia. Yep, look at my volume right there. All right, we're good to go. <laughs> all right, guys. So as you all pop in, leave me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are living in from. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me clearly. We're going to jump right into today's live Zach Fat Guys about what to do when people leave you, what to do when people leave you. So as Facebook is building this audience out, guys, I will welcome live viewers to the broadcast. So I see Nicole is in the building. Javier is in the building. What's going on, Gail? Gail is in the building. Who else is here? Who else is here? Let's see. John's in the building. Hold on. Uh, Gail says I have an echo. Let me check something out here. I know exactly what it is, Gail. Hold on one second, my friend. All right, that should have fixed that echo. All right, Gail, do, give me a sound check. Let me know. Let me know how we sound now. I had a, uh, I had another screen up in the background. You know how that goes sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. What's up, James Frazier? James is in the building. Honey, what's going on, honey? Happy New Year, my friend. I don't think I've talked to Honey uh, in a good couple of months. Gail says echo still. Hold on. Let me see what's going on here. Hold on, let me test this out. So is anybody else having an echo or is it just uh... Nicole says you keep on moving and leaving. <laughs> Still go to the echo. Hold on. It shouldn't be an echo because I closed out the back screen. Not sure. Hold up. Let me see. Hey, Yolanda, what's going on, my friend? Yolanda's in the building. All right, so let me see. Hey, Yolanda, what's going on, my friend? It may just be you, Gail, because on my phone, there's no echo. So y'all type in the number one, and we're good. Tia says no echo. All right, good. Tia from Florida. All right, John Gall says no echo. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's roll, let's roll. All right, guys, so if you are new to a live Zach Fact, type in hashtag new. Or if you're watching this on the replay, type in hashtag replay. And if you are new, again, my name is Zach Shaheed. I am the CEO of Dominate Social Media, guys. And inside of Dominate Social Media, we teach you how to get massive exposure online, how to brand yourself properly online so you get new sales, new customers, and new team members on a regular basis. So if you're somebody in network marketing or affiliate marketing looking you know, to leverage social media the right way to build your brand, guys. You're in the right place, right? You want to make sure that you jo uh, join Dominate Social Media. So what I'm going to do after the broadcast, I'm going to give you guys a resource to join the Dominate Social Media member site, okay? We have a full member site where you guys can go to and get tons and tons of resources to help you guys build your business, all right? So I will post that, um, I will post that link in the comment stream um, shortly here. So let's jump into today's topic, what to do when people leave you, right? I don't know who this message is for today, guys, but it was on my heart to share this message because I know a lot of people in network marketing, um, they go through this in their mind on a regular basis. Like, why are people leaving me, right? What's up, Janessa? Janessa's in the building. Bernita's in the building. Trey Smith's in the building. Joyce is in the building. <laughs> All the family's showing up. So I know a lot of times, guys, People in network marketing say, hey, I'm signing people up, but then people are leaving me, okay? If you guys have ever felt that way, type in the number one in the comment stream. If you have ever felt like, hey, I'm building a team, people are joining me, but now all of a sudden, people are also leaving. Like, they're exiting the back door. We don't hear from them ever again. What is it? What's going on? Is it something wrong with me? Is it something wrong with the company? What is going on? And my brother Kamal said, one, 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 one. <laughs> All right. So, OK, guys, listen. So I want you guys to understand. Right. We have all been through that. Right. Zach Shahi uh, has been through that. Right. All of the top earners in the industry have been through that. We have been through a time in our business where people join you. They join you for whatever reason, whether it's more income, they like your community, whatever it is, they join you. But then for some reason, they eventually leave. you, Right. So, guys, this is what you have to understand. And, and this may this may hit home for some people. This may sting a little bit when I say this, but guys, understand, at some point in your career, you were that person, okay? I'm gonna say it again. At some point in your career, you were also that person. 
you you were that person that that joined the mentor, joined the business, you know, said you was going to finish a training program. You said you were going to do it, right? But then all of a sudden you left. For whatever reason, you left, right? So you have been that person. So guys, you have to be comfortable in knowing that people are going to join you, people are going to leave you. It happens all the time. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make your product or service bad. It doesn't make your company bad. It's just people. Okay, guys, type that in the comment stream right now. It's just people. Okay, people are going to do what people do, right? They're going to join you and they're going to leave you. Now, guys, what you also have to understand is this. When people join your network marketing company or affiliate marketing company, you do not know what limiting beliefs they are bringing to the table. Okay, you do not know what limiting beliefs they are bringing to the table. You have no idea that they may have started 10 businesses before and quit all 10, okay? Or they, they may have been in the business, you know, for five years, never really had any results, so they quit. You don't know what limiting beliefs they are bringing to the table, right? What's up, Captain? Lord, Captain's in the building, Ariel's in the building. So yeah, guys, you just don't know, it's people. You don't know what limiting beliefs they are bringing to the table. Now guys, it is not your job to really focus on their limiting beliefs, okay? It is your job to provide them with resources. You guys know my favorite word is value, right? It is your job to continually provide them with value that's gonna help them overcome their limiting beliefs, okay? That's what you wanna do, guys. And this is the reason why I give away the science of get, giving rich. It's the reason why I give away the God memorandum. It's because I wanna provide value to help people overcome, type in overcome in the comment stream. I wanna help people overcome their limiting beliefs, guys, but it is not my job to solve it for them. It is not my job to always be pouring energy into somebody who doesn't wanna solve their own limiting beliefs. What up, Shanika? Shanika's in the building. That's right, it starts with mindset, like Janessa said, right? So guys, knowing that it is your job to provide value, right? And like my mentor, Robert Hollis, always says, when the student is ready, the teacher will show up. Because guys, you will have people that join you and they're gonna go all in. They're gonna go all in. They're gonna ask you for all the information they need. They're gonna be with you 100%, okay? And they're gonna blow the business up. So you wanna make sure you are focusing your energy on those people. And then everybody else who are still stuck in their limiting beliefs, guys, you're still going to love on them. You're still going to provide them value. OK, but it's not your job to just, you know, focus all your energy on helping them solve that, that, that limiting belief. OK, provide them resources, provide them things that will work on their mindset that will help them overcome. OK, does that make sense, guys? If y'all guys are getting value from this right now, type in the number two in the comment stream. Now, here's another thing, guys. And this and this part is something that's really great that happens when people join you and leave you, okay? Guys, understand that sometimes you are only in people's lives for a season, okay? Type in season in the comment stream, right? Sometimes you are in people's lives for a season. So when they initially joined you, there was something they were looking for, okay, that you can help them solve. There was some type of problem that they were looking for that you can help them solve, right? So they joined you, they partnered with you, so you can help them solve that problem. But guys, understand this, sometimes people will outgrow you. They will outgrow you. And guys, as a mentor, that is a great feeling, <laughs> okay? It is a great feeling to know you had somebody come to you that needed help, that needed some guidance, and you provided them enough value, and they outgrew you. Okay, you, you provided them exactly what they needed to become better. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Okay, they came into your life for that season so you can help make them better. They got better, and now they're moving on so they can continue to stretch themselves. Guys, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so if you're somebody like, oh, you know, people are leaving me. They're going to do different things. Guys, it's just their time to go do that. They were in your life for a season. Be happy for their growth. Be happy for that growth, guys. And again, remember, at some point, you probably were that, you, you was that person at some point too. You outgrew somebody, found some other mentors, okay? You found a different business, you know, that, that, felt, that felt better to you, that fit more in your niche. Whatever it was, guys, we all been there. But be happy for that person that's outgrowing you because that all that means is that you, you sold so much seed into that person's life that they grew 
Okay, they grew, and now they're moving on to other things, guys. So I'm going to tell you what happens, though, right? The reason why in network marketing, people get so offensive when people leave them, and this may sting. Don't get mad at me when I say this. The reason why in network marketing, people get mad when you leave them is because now, okay, you're not making an income off that person anymore. Uh-oh, did Zach say it? Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Okay, now you're not making an income off that person anymore, right? There are no more commission ships. <laughs> okay, see, so many times in network marketing, we swear up and down that, hey, we're in business to help people. We want to help people, you know, live their best life ever. You know, we want to help you take care of your family. But then they decide to leave you to go do other things. And now because you don't have a commission ship, <laughs> now you mad. <laughs> okay, you mad because they left you. Guys, let's stop building commission ships and build real relationships. Because, guys, I will tell you right now, some people will leave you that you're not making a commission off of anymore. But guess what? Because you have a solid relationship, that person's going to be your friend for life. Somebody type in for life in the comment stream. That person's going to be a friend for life. And, guys, you never know what that connection will bring to you. You never know uh, how many more people that person will refer to you. But if, but if all your people, if, if all they feel like is, hey, I'm just here for a commission ship, and it, they don't feel like they have a real relationship with you, guess what, guys? They're not going to recommend you to anybody. <laughs> okay? So, guys, build stronger relationships. Type in relationships in the comment stream. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we all swear we join network marketing to build relationships, to help people make money, to help people grow, and all this stuff. But as soon as somebody leaves you, you get all in your feelings like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they left me. Now there must be something wrong with me. The comp plan may suck. But no, guys, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with the comp plan. Either that person has some limiting beliefs they need to work on, or that person just ultimately outgrew you, okay, which is a great thing. They're doing other things. They're doing things they're passionate about. Okay, let them go do it. Continue having the relationship, guys. And I can guarantee you that if that person is meant to be on your team, if that person is meant to, you know, somehow y'all generate income together, it will happen. It will happen again. That person may come back to you. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. There was a time I left my mentor, right? I left my mentor because I'm like, you know what? For those of you who know my mentor, my mentor is all about mindset, right? And I was like, you know what? I got enough mindset stuff. I got enough mindset stuff. I need the skills. I need the skills. I didn't know how to build sales funnels. I didn't know how to drive traffic. I need the skills. So guess what? I went out and got all the skills. But guess what, guys? I needed that mindset. So guess what I did? I went back to my mentor. So I left and I came back. It happens sometimes, guys. It happens. You just have to understand that business is going to happen and you can't get emotional about it. You cannot get emotional about it. You have to continue providing value, serving people. The right people will join you. The right people will stay with you. The right people you will build lifelong relationships with. Okay? So what, to, so what are you supposed to do when people leave you? Keep growing. <laughs> okay? Keep growing. Keep sowing seeds. Keep providing value into the marketplace, guys. People will join you. Your income will continue to go up. And hey, you're good to go. So the last thing I want to uh, tell you guys is that if you did get value from this, let me know in the comment stream. And if you are somebody who's in network marketing or affiliate marketing and you are looking for a way, guys, you need to improve skill sets, you need to improve mindset, whatever it is, guys, I have two resources to help you guys out today. So what I'm going to do uh, immediately following the broadcast, I am going to post a link for the Dominate Social Media member site, okay? We're going to give you access to the member site to where you get tons and tons of resources to help you guys out. So that's going to be the first resource. The second resource I'm going to post in there, guys, is we have a profit-boosting mastermind, okay? We have a profit-boosting mastermind going on in the month of February where it's only going to cost you $1 to get started. And, guys, in this mastermind, okay, you're going to have access to myself and my auntie, multiple six-figure earner Keisha Bass. We are meeting with our mastermind every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time to help you guys improve on marketing skill sets. Whatever, whatever it is you want to learn about marketing, guys, we're going to help you in that mastermind, okay? We're also going to give you access to a coach who's going to give you one-on-one -on -one training, 
and you're going to learn a lot about affiliate marketing, okay? So that's going to be the second resource that I post in the comments here today. It is our Profit Boosting Mastermind going down every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. You get access today for only $1, guys. So I highly recommend you guys plug in. So anyway, guys, that's your live Zach fact for today. Glad you all got value. Thanks for all the engagement. I see all the comments. I will go back to make sure I re-engage with everybody who left me a comment. Guys, have a great day on purpose. Continue to grow. Continue to sow seeds, guys. And things will work out for you. So I'm out. Holla, y'all. Peace.